Hi, this is John the Pool Expert. Today I'm going to be installing the Pentair Rainbow Model 300 automatic chlorine offline feeder. And what this is just a offline chlorinator. You put tablets in it and uh, it'll chlorinate your pool. It's super easy to install. Um, let me show you what we're going to need to install it. Okay, all you're going to need is a 5 16th uh, nut driver. You can just, I use my drill. Uh, 3 8 uh, drill bit with a drill and some Teflon tape. A uh, little we'll roll of half inch Teflon tape. You can pick it up at Home Depot. And that's all you're going to need to install it. This comes in the box. This is what's included in the box. It's got uh, the hose, the chlorinator, and the connectors. How to connect it. Okay, first thing we're going to get our Teflon tape. What we're going to do is we're going to wrap this thread clockwise. Just wrap it a couple times. Around each, each of the connectors. Uh, there's one that goes in the side and one that goes into the bottom. This one is the one that goes into the side. So, see it just, just threads in. Just like that. Okay, and same, same thing in the bottom. And when you get them in, they should look like this. One in the bottom, one on the side. I usually point them both the same direction. It depends on where uh, your tubes need to go. Okay, now we have to determine where the tubes get attached to the pool equipment. In this particular situation, uh, we want one tube coming from before the filter and one coming after the filter. On a pool spa situation, you will put one before the filter and one after the heater. On here we'll just have one before the filter, see it says inlet, and then on the outlet side one after the heater. Okay now when you find your spot we're just going to drill a 3 8 hole where, um, where we're going to connect it. There's our hole. Okay, now we're going to install our connectors. We have a washer, the connector, and a clamp. And the connector, we just clean the hole off, and the connector fits right in there. Okay, then you insert your tubes. It's got a nut. And from the inlet, it goes into the uh, top adjustable, adjustable one, just like that. All right. The last thing is we need to hook this tube to this connector. Tighten up the nut. This is coming out of the filter. And from the pipe that comes out of the filter, we connect it to the bottom. We're going to do the same thing. Slide the nut on. Push it until it's tight. And we're going to tighten the nut. And that is it. And you just have to determine where you want it. And then you also have the option to bolt it down. There's three little holes. On this coordinator, you can bolt it down to the ground if you want to, but that's entirely up to you. That's all you have to do. Thanks for watching.